Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome to a brand new season for our Let's Play series of uh, Football Manager 2019, continuing as Salford City here. And uh, this is our third season in the Skybet League 2, our fourth season overall. And uh, I don't know, I think things are going to be pretty good this season. The, the team seem to agree with me that we have a chance of reaching the playoffs. We've been just barely outside the playoffs the last two seasons in a row. In fact, if we go look at, let's see here, if we go look at this league table, um, well, not look for stages, actually. Um, last season, we were in ninth place just barely. We had 72 points, and I think it was this uh, the seventh and above that made it. So we were just like one victory away from making the playoffs, and that would have been pretty awesome. The season before that, we were eighth place. So we're actually a step above, although one point lower, and still literally one point away, you know, from being able to have a chance to go out to the playoffs. So we've been so close these last two seasons, and actually we haven't been rated very well these last two seasons. Uh, whereas this year, if we look at the season preview, we're actually rated 10th, you know, in, in the preview. Now, how much does this, I, I don't know. I mean, how, how realistic is this? We, it's hard to say. But uh, this is the highest rating that we've had in the preview, I think, in, in the last couple seasons. In fact, I think even last season we were like possibly going for relegation or something like that is the preview. So we obviously outplayed that expectation. So if we maintain that thing of outplaying our expectations, uh, then I think we have a pretty good chance here. Um, kind of catch you up on what, a little bit of what's happened during the offseason. We did lose Nathan Phillips, who was one of our central defenders. Uh, he just wasn't happy about us not reaching the playoffs, uh, even though we missed it just just barely. Um, so we lost him. We let him go, actually. Uh, and then we brought in a whole bunch of players. We've got this uh, Bradley Halliday here, who's a uh, a uh, a right defender, actually. And as you can see, he's a current three and a half, three and a half star rating, uh, potential four star rating. Obviously, excellent. G great work rate. I mean, just... An excellent player all around. I think he's going to be a, a, a very valuable pickup for us. He's, he's cost us a decent amount of money, but we have actually haven't really been hitting our cap on our money, like our, our salary, even close to it, you know, in a while. So I think we could spend, you know, a little bit of extra money this season. Well, we got Josh Kerr here, who is a uh, central defender, uh, current three-star rating, potential four-and-a-half-star rating. Um, only 23 years old, so he's got a lot of, lot of, you know, ahead of him. And as you can see, we paid some pretty good fees for a lot of these guys as well. Um... So we're hoping, hoping that he can show up and do some good stuff for us. We got Matthew Platt here, who's also a central defender, current three star, potential three and a half star. Not amazing player, but good player. Uh, we got him on a free transfer. Uh, how much are we paying him? We're paying actually a pretty decent amount, aren't we? Oh no, actually we're only playing twenty two thousand. So he's actually rel relatively low cost to kind of fill in that slot. Uh, we got Callum Whelan here. Uh, we paid a big bunch of money for him. Current only two and a half star though. So we might not actually play him a lot right this second. Um, but, but he has a potential of four star, which is part of the big reason why I was willing to pay a little bit extra for him to bring him ahead and try and develop him, uh, start him a few times here and there and, and really see what we can do with him. Uh, Matthew Worthington here, uh, very actually really small fee here. Uh, he came in as a, I think a defensive midfielder. Yeah, that's right. Defensive midfielder, uh, three star current, four star potential. Again, another pretty solid player all around. Um, he's not very good at corners, but that's okay. We don't need him for corners. Callum Simple here, another central defender that we picked up. Uh, he is current three and a half star, potential four and a half star. So again, another really good player. We are paying him a ridiculous amount of money, two hundred three thousand uh, per year, which is uh, it's, it's pretty insane. We actually got him for the next couple of years, so he's one of our Nathan Phillips replacements. So we'll see what him he can do. Really, pretty much Simple and uh, I think it's Kerr as our two starters. Platt's one of our backups, and then we got Willem Tomlinson here. Came in on a free. I right, paying him a decent amount as well. Great work rate again. Uh, great determination. Four star current ability. Four and a half star potential. Obviously a great midfielder if he if he shows up and does what we need him to do. So we we went out and we kind of overhauled the team a lot during the the off season. So um, here's the tactics we're running with. We still have this tactic here that we ran for most of last season, and it's still pretty good tactic. Uh, but I decided to mix things up and try something just a little different this season is to see what we can do. We've got a lot of good midf midfielders, so we're going to try and play the midfielders a bit more. Uh, so this is probably going to be our primary tactic. Um, it's 4 one, four, one I guess. Um, so we're going to have a little bit of a defensive uh, midfielder here, which is Worthington at the moment. He's not amazing in the, as a playmaker. We could play him as like a ball winning or defensive, but I'm going to try him in the playmaker role because we don't have a playmaker like role at the moment in this setup. And we'll see what he can do in that spot. We may make some changes as, as the game goes by, though. Um, 
And then, as you can see, we've got McFarlane in here currently. I think Yates was coming back from an injury. Uh, looks like he's ship shape, ready to go, maybe. I was thinking about not playing him in this first game. Let's see here. Returning to full fitness imminently. You know what? I'm not going to risk it. Um, I mean, obviously, I would love to get the season off to a great start, but I really don't want to risk it. So, between Gaffney and McFarland, I think I'm going to play McFarland. He's been playing a little bit better lately. So, we'll try him out, see what he can do. We got Randall over here on the right hand side instead of like either Collins or um, Gaffney. Um, Collins is actually becoming a really, really solid you know, player. He's got uh, a lot of potential still. He's only two star now, but he's got possibly as much as four star potential. So we want to play him quite a bit, get him developed. He was out on loan last season and, you know, it seems like he's doing OK. Uh, but we still got Gaffney in the in the mix um, to break game. We got this Wilson guy. We got a couple other players, you know, that we can play in that spot. Lloyd over here on the left side. He's just solid, true and true. Uh, I think we're going to keep him here. Williams, you know, could be a good good pick as well at some point. Um, he's really only two-star current, two-star potential, but he's shown some stuff. And I'll show you here in a second. There's another formation that we might run that he's actually played really well in, hence the 7.52 rating through through preseason. Uh, and we'll show you a little bit of that in a minute. Um, we probably need to get a replacement for this left wing at some point because, honestly, neither one of these guys is going to just hold up forever. Although maybe this Wilson guy, you know, potential four-star, we might have to play him a little bit more this season to see if we can develop him a little bit. Uh, Matthews, we know him from last season. Uh, we got one of the new guys, Tomlinson, and obviously, like I said, Wor Worthington down here at the back. Um, and then again, the entire defensive line basically is, is, is overhauled. We got Kerr, and we got Simple, as I mentioned. We got Halliday here, uh, and then we got Doyle over here on the left. Um, did we have him last season? I actually don't remember. Was he? He wasn't one of the ones we brought in, was it? Did I just mention him? Yeah, we didn't have him. We had him. Was it last season we brought Doyle in? Yeah, yeah. We brought Doyle in last season. I don't know. I don't remember. Did we play him that much? I felt like we played the Blackburn or the Black... Uh, played Torrey a lot and we played um, Bla Donnelly Blackburn, right? Yeah, yeah. We played him a lot, I think. So we're going to play Doyle, uh, Doyle a bit more. He's obviously a really good, solid player. Uh, Donnelly Blackburn will be our backup. Torrey's kind of third string at the moment. He, we obviously know he can play well. We'll see what happens with that. And then we're going to try out Ash. He was out on loan last season. Uh, he developed a little bit. He's about about on level with Crocom, but obviously he has a lot more potential here. He's got a, possibly as much as a five-star potential, um, whereas Crocom is just about capped out on his potential. So we're going to probably play Steve Ash a little bit more this season with Crocom coming in as a backup as needed. Uh, we got rid of quite a few players. We're only allowed to have 25 registered players uh, this season in the league based on some of the rule changes. Um now, anybody that's under 23 doesn't count towards that, so that's why you see a few more than 25 here. But uh, it does limit a little bit on what we can have. Uh, and then also, we don't have the restriction that we have to have, like, the homegrown club player anymore. So that's really helpful and helps us, you know, have a better set of subs uh, as opposed to just having a dummy player just sitting there that's that's uh, taking up a space that we weren't really planning on playing. So, yeah, um, I'm sure we'll play through a little bit more of this as we go through, like, talk about a few more of the people as we, as we go along. But... Yates has like been playing pretty outstanding. Hopefully, he comes back from his injury okay with no issues. Uh, the other formation that we might be trying out at some point this season um, is this one. It's a little weird, and we don't really have the best players for these wings out here. Uh, but it still maintains this this trio formation in the middle. Same defensive line, same you know everything here. Same um, striker. I mean, it doesn't look like much different, right? I mean, we're just moving from we're just moving the, the wingers back a bit, but it does give us a little bit more of a a defensive kind of initial presence, um, but it allows us to, to kind of attack out of that a little bit more and opens up a lot of space up here because there's only one player up here. So um, in playoffs, or sorry, in preseason, uh, we actually played Williams over here. He was pretty decent. I mean, you know, about competent at least, uh, but he was just playing outstanding coming off here. He played so many goals coming off there. I think he got four or five goals throughout the preseason. In one game, he got three goals in one game. So just coming off of here, getting fed by either McFarlane or Randall or somebody like that and just coming over here on the left-hand side, bo booting it in, no big deal whatsoever. So really seemed to open up for him. Um, so we might play this one a little bit. I, my suspicion, I'm calling this the 4-1, 4-1 underdog because um, this is my idea of probably teams that are a little bit better than us we might play this against. We'll see how it develops. But like I said, this for now is going to be our primary. And uh, let's just get into the game. Is there anything else I wanted to talk about? Um I don't think there's anything else that really changed. Um, towards the end of last season, they canceled our uh, youth, um, you know, build out. We were going to uh, grow our youth, you know, development a little bit. And they canceled it because of, I guess, we were not making very good money towards the end of season. 
And then um, I think he was the chairman or somebody infl- put in a whole bunch of money towards the end of the season after that cancellation. And so then we asked for the youth program to be put back in again. They said yes again this time. Uh, and I think it's going to be in place by December. So hopefully that advances a little bit more. It'd be awesome if we got an under 23 squad to kind of help develop some more players going in, you know, for down the road. But I don't know. I think there's a certain level that you have to have. I don't know remember exactly what that level is or if we will be at that level with the improvements. But even, we, even if we don't, any improvements we make are going to be helpful for us to kind of develop some players. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump in. Oh, the only other thing I was going to say is that the structure for this season is going to be the same as last season. I'm going to do pairs of games. Um, I kind of went back and forth on whether I want to do pairs or just do the home games. If I just do the home games, it ends up being a really long season as far as YouTube videos. Um, I mean, it's a little bit better for me because I get more value for my time, I guess, because I get more YouTube videos out there. But I feel like the pairing for now, unless somebody you know says otherwise, I feel like the pairing just gets a little bit more content all at once. And, and then I can kind of play a little bit more games in between on my own time and, and at least try and get a pair per month, basically, is kind of the goal. And... Um, kind of play through that a little bit, play some interesting games. Most of the time, probably going to be mostly home games, but we'll probably mix in a few away games based on how they pair uh, as we go as well. Anyway, let's jump right into this game against Walsall. Uh, they are actually rated to be, I think, fourth. And like I said, we're rated to be about 10th. So, you know, could be about equal. Maybe they're a little bit better. Who knows? Obviously, those previews, who knows how, how good they are. We've actually won one, drawn one, and they've beat us twice in the last two years. So, hopefully... Hopefully we can hold our own here. We're going to leave Rooney on the bench as our striker replacement as opposed to bringing Yates in. I really do want to bring Yates in, but I'd hate to bring him in and get him injured first game of the season and be out without him. So let's make sure he comes back fully fit uh, before we really press him much further than that. Yep, I think this is it. Good. Go ahead and submit this. Um, I guess auto number, please. Tomlinson. This is... Hey, they're actually playing basically the same setup, right? Although this is called a 4-1-2-3 DM wide, which I'm not sure why. It looks literally the identical. So just, I guess, the way it kind of gets plugged in. Um, Curds the players, give them a bit of a morale boost. So where do you guys? Have a good one. I'm not going to press them too much. Let's go ahead and kick off. Go right into play. Let me pause for just a second. Let me make sure everything's set up here. Uh, looks good. Extended. Yeah, I think this all looks... Okay, I will turn the sound back on, I guess. I had them off because I was watching some videos while I was doing preseason. So, here we go. We're off. First game of this new season. I'm really hoping for some good stuff this season. Obviously, that good stuff would be uh, would be even better if we get a win off the first game. Oh, good, good, good tackle there. I mean, that's going to be the end of that highlight. But let's see if we can get something something going for us here very, very soon. Come on, guys. Show me what you got, man. This, this, is, this is our season, guys. This is our season. Wow, Rockdale, Maidstone, Morecam, Oldham, all three, all four, I should say, already got, got some goals going their way. Got two shots, one on target so far. Possession's looking pretty good so far. A few few fouls, nothing too bad. There's a free kick here from Walsall. Uh, oh, I thought we were going to get in the way of that one. Unfortunately, we did not. And that was a that was a long kick. Might have had a chance, but it did. It was about a, about a yard, probably, outside the right side. Uh, oh, my. Was that count? I mean, it almost... Sometimes we get those offsides, but that looked really clean and good. Simple broke off the line there. Just the right time to get a good uh, header, I think, right? Let's watch that again, because, I mean, come on, it's the first goal of the season. Let's watch this. Thomason just putting it in perfect place. Yeah, he was definitely onside. Simple get his heads on it, gets right past the goalkeeper. I mean, the goalkeeper was in the right spot, just couldn't get his hands on it. Excellent play there, guys. And that's a good way to start this game. 24 minutes in, already up with a goal. Clear that out, Simple. Again, Simple's one of those new players we brought in. We're paying him. Pretty decent amount of money, so I'm hoping... Uh, aw, come on, McFarland. Let's not get you a, a card here in this early game. Aren't we paying simple? Oh, yeah, he's the most description. Yeah, he's the one we're paying ridiculous amounts to, so we really need him to show up and just be worth the money we're paying. Lloyd over here with the free kick. Lloyd, really, one of our only, like players from the last couple seasons that on the attacking side that, that we're bringing back in here. I mean, McFarland's played quite a bit, obviously. Usually we play Rooney, and Rooney's fine. He's getting a little bit old, I'll be honest, and he's kind of capped out on his development. Oh, McFarland breaking free here. Good. Excellent play by McFarland there. Getting it past his players first and foremost, which is something he's done a very good job of for us in the past, but then following through and getting the, the completion on the goal 
is is really uh you know something that he's struggled with in the past and i'm really hoping to see more of that here i mean get right past these guys got the speed and then just pretty pretty far out um but he was able to get the goalkeeper coming out from the 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 goal a little bit and was able to uh to get it right past him so good finish there from mcfarland would really love to see a lot more finishes like that from him because he's got the speed if he can get the finishing then then we might be in a really good place this season for him to get a lot of goals Doyle, good, good uh, header there, but uh, only as far as the Walsall players. Come on, guys. Let's, let's, let's close this down here, guys. Come on. Don't forget, there's bonuses for you guys if uh, if you if they don't score. So, come on. Let's get you guys some money. I am more than happy to play, pay you guys out some money if you keep these guys from scoring this season. Wow. Maidstone and Rockdale already have three goals up at the moment. All right, well, there's our halftime. Uh, I mean, feeling really good so far. Um, apparently, we struggle for position in the opposition's half, but, I mean, we got two goals out of it, so it can't be too much of a struggle. Definitely playing very well. Keep it up, keep it up, guys. Let's get this second half started. Hold on to this. We've actually had a lot of games last season where we ended up in a draw, like so many draws last season. And I, a lot of those we went up, you know, uh, got the lead early on and just gave up, you know, goals towards the end. So let's see if we can finish these games out this season, guys. If you could finish out one or two games from, from what we did last season, um, then that's automatic playoffs right there. Kerr, okay, that was into that highlight. Got a throw in here from Doyle. Doyle over to Matthews. Matthews again to get it back over to Worthington. Another one of our new players, defensive midfielder. Worthington's going to push it over to Tomlinson. Tomlinson going to get all the way over to the right-hand side, try to get it to somebody, but nobody really there. I don't know where he was going with it. Randall was able to get his head on it a little bit, but just nobody helped, you know, recover that. Got Walsall coming back now. Minga over to... Oh, Tomlinson gets in the way of that one. Good play there. Worthington picking that one up. Kerr is going to kind of reset here a little bit and just get this offense going. He's going to kick it deep here. McFarlane, can he get his speed? Can he get there before the goalkeeper? He can. It's just him and the goalkeeper now. Oh, good play by the goalkeeper. Um, honestly, I mean, I can't fault McFarlane for that one. It was a really good play. He, got, he has the speed. Um, but, uh, you know, goalkeeper made an excellent play. Just barely getting his hand in there. To get that one deflected, another one there from uh, uh, deflection there, or, or not deflection catch there from the goal goalkeeper. Looked like that one might have been going in for a second there. Uh oh, uh oh, okay, good, good. Just no, no threat there for Ash. Ash was able to pick that one up pretty easily. They're coming back. They're getting a few more shots on their uh, on their side of things than they had in the first half. So got to be careful. Randall over here to Holiday on the right side. Good cross. Lloyd's in the area. It's not able to get that one on target. Not even a threat to the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper didn't even bother moving. He knew that one was out of bounds the moment it left Lloyd's head. Our defender's playing really well right now. It's really good to see that kind of uh, that kind of strength back there. That's something we've been lacking, I guess. We've been getting, being able to get a few goals here and there uh, in a lot of the games. We just haven't been able to, to close out and hold on. Uh, honestly, everybody's playing really well right now. Do I even swap anybody right now? I mean, the only person playing maybe poorly is Danny Lloyd. You know what? Let's go ahead and swap him out for... Wow, we don't actually have anybody on our bench that can play over there. I can move Matthews up. Which, it might be okay. You know what? We'll move Matthews up, and then we'll swap Lloyd out for... Let's bring Cool in here. Let's see what he can do. All right, got a free kick here from Walsall. Holiday getting in front of that one, only as far as Roberts, though. Roberts, good kick, good try. Didn't didn't get on target, though, but that's okay. Made our goalkeeper goalkeeper dive for it. Do I get a pause? There we go. Uh, we're going to do another swap here, I think. Well, nobody's really that tired. Do we have any plays for Worthington? We do have Bird in here. Let's bring Bird on. I mean, Worthington, not super tired, but, you know, he's 71%. That's close enough to... to uh, just go ahead and swap him out. Make sure he doesn't get too tired. Bring some some fresh legs on here. Hold on to this 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 you know this position we're in. In fact, let's go ahead and drop down to balanced. A little bit more, a little bit further back. Not be as quite as aggressive. All right, 80th minute. Anybody I want to change out? I'm tempted to just run it out this from this point forward. To be honest, anybody I just want to bring in just to get some time. That's pretty Collins in. I'd like to get him some time, some playtime. It's not much, but a little bit of playtime here.
Come on, guys. Hold on to this. I mean, we're still a lot of teams that scored at least two, some of them three goals here. So we're not even in the top three, even after getting a 2-0 win here. Come on, guys. Hold on just a little bit longer. All right. So at least looks like a potential highlight for us. There's Collins over here on the right-hand side. Over to Tomlinson. Tomlinson over to Cool. Cool. Had a little bit of space there. Back over to Matthews. Matthews, strong kick. I mean, a little bit more on target. Might have had a chance. The goalkeeper had to jump for that one. Looks like we are about to get to the end of this game, though. Getting a 2-0 win in the first game of the season. I will take that any day of the week. All right, good catch there, Ash. Just hold on to this, buddy. Just a few seconds here. There we go. It's all over. 2-0 win against Walsall, who, again, sort of predicted to be ahead of us, although I think we were predicted to win this specific game. Um... I guess it looks like the uh, the reporter predicted a draw, and we came out with a win. So, yeah, absolutely. First game of the season. Uh, very, very pleased with that result. Next game up is against Plymouth here. We actually struggled against Plymouth at the end of last season, didn't we? Wasn't that one of the games that we wanted to win, but we just didn't? I can't remember if that was it or not. Simple makes Salford, uh, Salf Salford. Salford City debut. Sulfur like salt is what, what I've been told. Uh, no, absolutely, buddy. Keep it up. Keep up that... T earn that paycheck, buddy. <laughs> earn that paycheck. I have no problem paying you all that money if you if you keep playing games like that. Um, looks like a rest. He's not very happy with us right now. And we've brought in a lot of midfielders. Uh, honestly, though, he's just not... He doesn't have a lot of potential. And so I'm not too worried about him leaving. I mean, we might play him a little bit. Because he plays well when we play him, but just, I don't know. Um, you know, I'm not going to force him to stay if he doesn't want to be here. Get him off the team if that's what it, ha what it comes to. we got plenty of midfielders at this point. Apparently he's not happy with my stuff. You know what, let's go ahead and go to him. And let's go ahead and say... Went off to clubs for the fee. We'll say asking price. It's going to be fine. If anybody wants him, by all means. I mean, I'd like to keep him around probably, but you know, do we need to? We got so many midfielders right now. We don't need to. But instead of him, I'd probably play that kid that I'm trying to develop up a little bit. No offers for him. Just ask him to speak with clubs. Sooner out of it. Okay, he's very, very unhappy, unfortunately. It is what it is, just, just with the nature of things. Sometimes people just get unhappy. Monthly financial update. Um, how are our finances? I, mean, I bet we're projected to be pretty big time in the hole, but again, we're fine overall for the most part. I mean, like our salaries, well, where am I looking for? I'm actually looking for a summary. Uh, we're currently spending 2.7 million of our 4.2 million payroll. Now, again, this is not a target. This is just a, a limit. So it's okay that we're spending, you know, a decent amount less. But, you know, if we needed to stretch for some players, we could. Uh, we're spending $2 million less on salaries than allowed. So we're definitely well below that number. Um, we actually sold uh, a few more season tickets this season. That's good to see. Board's very happy with me. There's our scouting report now. Plymouth. I didn't see if they won their first game or not. Uh, what am I looking for? I want to go to competitions. Plymouth, they did win their first game, but only by one point. So they're up there. You know, there, there might be might be some trouble. And again, we we had we struggled against them last season, if I remember right. So let's get the check a trade draw. Just going to draw all teams. We are in. I felt like we've been in the Liverpool. Under 23's uh, group of four. And then we got Burton here, who's a Sky Bet League one player or a team, 15th currently. And uh, we have Bolton here, Sky Bet League one second currently. That one's going to be a tough team to over. Oh, sorry, wrong team. Hole. Oh, there we go. I was looking at the wrong one. Oh, that, that's better. They're only first in Sky Bet League one at the moment. One game in, still. They're obviously, they won their first game. And then, of course, Liverpool, which we actually beat Liverpool. No, no, we beat uh, Manchester United uh, under 23's in preseason but that doesn't really mean much but we'll see we'll see what happens here and maybe it was manchester united's uh under 23s we played before i don't remember
Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I thought we were handed a pretty tough group. So, yeah, that's that's going to be fun times there. We got here forward from China, actually. Eh, I mean, could be useful, but I don't think we need him right now. So we did get Simple and McFarlane both names to the team of the week. That's pretty awesome. First game in. I'll take it. Uh, increased defender and attack duties. I'm not going to mess with that. I have a couple guys that are in automatic, which means they'll change based on the uh, the formation or the, uh, what I'm trying to say, the uh, mentality. Wow, well, I couldn't come up with the word there. Um, so that's going to be okay. Um, play for set pieces. Yeah, why not? Use tighter marking. I'm okay with that. Hit early crosses. You know, I'll, I'll go ahead and take some of these instructions that, that they're suggesting. I'm, I'm going to assume the computer bases it on something. You know, the AI says, okay, hey, here's these things that we've seen, you know, and so if they've got some reason, we'll go for it. And if we need to change, you know, in the middle of this, the, the match, so be it. Um, only a potential Vanarama national title t talent. Really? That's sad. Home Park return for Kerr. Looks like Plymouth is favored in this one. There's actually a lot of games here back to back in this first start of the season. It's only a couple of days rest. We should play plenty of rotation guys here. Transfer league window or window closes here in a couple of days. I don't think there's any more transfers that we are interested in at the moment. So I think it's going to be okay. I suppose somebody could come to us for a rest here or something like that, but. That's about it. Fitness not requ uh, required. Capable of playing in the forthcoming feature with minimal risk of complications. Perfect. I think we will very likely play him because we need him. Actually, we've won the last. So I'm wrong. It was Plymouth we did win at the end of last season. So I don't know why I was thinking we lost against them. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and pull Yates back in. Although McFarland did play very well at the first game. So I'm very appreciative of that. Um, but I do think I want to bring Yates back in here. Um, anybody tired? Or do we just go with this? Everybody seems pretty fit. I think we just go with this. Um, do we want to leave Rooney on the bench? Or do we want to bring McFarlane into the bench spot? We'll bring McFarlane in. Seems sad. We're actually paying Rooney a lot of money right now. A lot. He actually has a has a clause that allows him to match the highest earning player, which when we brought Simple in, means Rooney got bumped up quite a bit. I mean, he's still a good player, so I'm not saying he's we're not going to play him. And I'm not saying he's not worth the money. We're just not playing him right now. I kind of want to give these youngsters a little bit of a chance. Um, this guy's 24. I said youngsters. I mean, 24. Relatively young. McFarlane's, what, 25? 24 as well. So, give them a little bit of chance. See what they can do. Uh, no, we're, we're okay with Lloyd here. I want to stay in this formation. Maybe I should, would have preferred playing in the other formation. Going against a team that might be better than us. This is an interesting formation here. Wow. Big clump of guys right here in the middle. Go out there and carry on straight from where you left off, lot guys. A couple guys seem motivated by that. Good to see. And this is an away game. So not going to be an easy game for us, I don't think. Although, again, we have beat Plymouth last two seasons. Now that's possible they made a lot of changes just like we did this season. They're starting off here pretty aggressive. Thankfully, Ash was able to pick that one up pretty easily. Probably going to be into the opening highlight here. Yep, there it is. We got one shot on target. Wasn't worth a highlight, though. Ash, deep kick here. Randall's in the area. He's going to be able to get his head on it. He is, but unfortunately only to uh, boot it a little bit further down to where a uh, Plymouth player was able to pick it up. Oh, Matthews with a good takeaway there. Oh, wow. That was excellent takeaway from Matthews. And then Yates coming through with the follow-through. Excellent, excellent play right there. i got to see that one again. That was good. That was really good. Just a lazy pass here from the goalkeeper. Uh, no, it was Barrett here, actually. That, hey, actually, he just kind of Dropped it there. Uh, Matthew's got the kick. The goalkeeper did a great job saving that first one, but Yates coming in with the follow through. That's a way to start the game. I'll take it. I will take it. That actually puts us up first place for the moment. Doesn't mean much. It's only two games in, but hey, we only needed one win last season. Actually, we've only needed one win the last two seasons to make playoffs. So any win we get, honestly, is could very much be the season. And so I'm going to be pretty excited about any win we get. So starting off with a one nothing. I mean, obviously we're not winning this one yet, 
But starting off one nothing feels good. Matthews, oh, good, good play there. Matthews coming in in a good spot to try and get a goal there. Had a chance. Uh, good play by the goalkeeper. But man, we see some more aggression like that. He's eventually going to get one of those in, in the back of the net. Uh, corner kick didn't really go anywhere. Looks like we're going to get a free kick here, Worthington. Are you going to get a yellow card? Doesn't look like you're getting a yellow card, so that's good. Care able to get his head on that one. Tomlinson over to Randall. Randall, going to push it up a little bit. What's going to do with it? It's going to get over to Tomlinson. Tomlinson, all the way over to the left side side. Lloyd's over here. He's going to be able to get across inside. He is, but unfortunately, nobody there to pick it up, or at least too many Plymouth players there to pick it up. Oh! Another giveaway. Lloyd over to Tomlinson. Another giveaway. Plymouth just making some mistakes. It was it the same player? I don't think that was Baird, was it? Uh, let's see here again. I mean, we're... Don't get me wrong. We're getting a little bit lucky with the mistakes they're making, but we're also capitalizing on those mistakes. No, it was the Sankster guy. We got He kind of just got it taken away from him a little bit there. Tomlinson just putting in the back of the net there. Perfect, perfect play there. That's good stuff, guys. That is good stuff. Let's keep it up. All right, we got a free kick here from Plymouth. Oh, I thought that was going in the back of the net. Good save by Ash. How much are we paying Tomlinson? Okay, I'll check in a second. Tomlinson with a free kick here. Unfortunately, just really no, none of our players in that spot. So it's going to be a giveaway on possession here. White pushing the ball up pretty heavily. Uh, Kerr able to get in front of that one. Worthington over to Simple. Simple gets it up to Lloyd. And here we come on the attack ourselves. Lloyd's got a lot of guys around him. He gets tripped up here. Uh, unfortunately, nothing going for that attack. Still a highlight, though. Something's going to happen here. All right. Doyle able to get in front of that one. Lloyd. Going to get it up to Matthews. Matthews just playing some lights-out gameplay today. Matthews, what you going to do with it? Get it over to Randall. Randall's got a good spot and puts it in the back of the net. Third goal of the game. Another An assist by Matthews. Matthews playing just amazing right now. That's good stuff, buddy. That's some good stuff. Like, how's he... Let's see, where is he at? Matthews playing... Oh, he's not playing. He's only 6.9. I thought he was playing better than that, but it's still got an assist there. Um, what was I saying? We were trying to say how much we were playing Tomlinson. 88. I mean, it's a decent amount of money. White gets it over to Murphy. Murphy over to Rowe. Rowe. I mean, honestly, at this point, I'm happy with some goals too because goal diff could come and play at some point as well. So just getting more goals just not only shows that our team's playing well early on, but Gets us a little bit of a cushion there for the gold diff side, side of things. Deep, deep kick here. Lloyd is able to get in front of it or get ahead on it. Gets it back to Matthews. Matthews gets over to Lloyd. Back to Matthews. Matthews over to the right-hand side to Randall. Randall, what you going to do with it? Gets it past his man. Yo oh, I thought that was going in. Yates was in the right spot. Just couldn't quite get it below the bar. That was a good play, though. Now, our entire attacking front is above seven right now. Looks like Plymouth's fired up by some feedback their coach gave him. Good to see. I mean, not good for us, but it's good to see that they're they're reacting, you know, good. You know, they're down three nothing early in this game. Still want to see some some fight in them. Can't go wrong with that. Ah, good save by Ash there. It's going to be a corner kick, but uh, that's the kind of that's the kind of play you want to see once uh, when they get past our defensive line. Unfortunately, Ferret Price in here. Kerr was able to get his head on it, or Kerr, I should say. Uh, Rowe back on it. Oh, he's going to get tripped up. Please don't get a penalty here, guys. Come on. We've got zero in the in the score column right now. Let's keep it that way. We are currently leading in the uh, league right now just because of goal diff. Um, it's pretty cool. Kerr able to uh, get on that one. Trying to get another another chance here. He's going to get over to Lloyd. Yes, he is. Lloyd going to get back to Kerr. Kerr uh, trying to get inside somebody. Nobody really there. Uh, Yates over here on the left-hand side. Kind of out of position of where he would normally be. Lloyd also out of position of where he would normally be. Coming from this corner kick, which is kind of funny to see. Nobody's in the right position. But we had a couple chances there. Not too bad. 13 shots, 9 on target. 3 goes, obviously. Randall uh, getting this throw in. Uh, oh, Tomlinson able to pick that one up after the tackle. Matthews over to Lloyd. Lloyd has a chance for a shot. Uh, good, good uh, intervention by the Plymouth guy. Get in front of that one. What do we got here? This is Tomlinson taking the corner kick here. Uh, we got Randall over to Simple, maybe? No, Randall trying to get something here. Plymouth is able to clear that one out, though. And that is the end of that halftime, actually. All right, guys. Excellent, excellent play, guys, here. Very pleased with your performance, guys. Keep it up. This is the kind of play we needed last season. Let's keep this stuff up. Doyle gets to push this one up here. 
Although we've ha- we've had a couple seasons, honestly, where we've started well and then just started to kind of fall apart in the you know October, November, December range. So really hoping that we can hold on to it this season if we do start well here as well. Um, lots of bouncing around here. Plymouth pushing the ball up here now. Still a lot of time left in this game to, uh, honest, not only just give up some goals. I mean, there's still a chance that Plymouth could get back into this, although I'm not expecting it based on the way the game's played so far. Um, I'd really like to see the guys close this out with a, with a big old goose egg. Just because I feel like they've played well enough to deserve it. It's just whether or not they can finish that way. A little bit scary there. Uh, we were able to get that one in front of that one, though. Again, going right back to Plymouth, though, here. Wilkinson kicking it deep up to Moore. Moore on the right-hand side here. Moore gets it inside. Grant is in a good spot. There's that ghost goose egg. Gone like just like that. So, I mean, it's okay. We're still in a really good spot. But, you know, it's good for Plymouth, too. You know, seeing that they can play with a little bit of fight even after uh, going down 3 nothing. Now, we can't give up here, guys. We've seen games get away from us before. We don't want this one to get away from us. Played so well so far. About to get our first sub of the game. Uh, let's get... Um, who do we want to sub up? Probably Worthington, just because of, if nothing else, the yellow card, but also because he's currently the most exhausted on the team. If 71% is truly exhausted, but yeah. Go ahead and sub him out for Bird. I think I'm going to be pretty happy with that. Actually, who did they suggest? I look like they suggested maybe Cole. But no, I think Bird's going to be okay. Thompson with a free kick here. Simple in the area. Uh, he's going to be able to get something here, I think. Maybe. Oh, there we go. Gets over Randall. Randall. Oh, I had a chance to get inside. To, uh, I forget who that was. That might have been Yates. If he had gotten a little bit more on target to him, he might have been able to boot that in. Holiday's going to kick it back to uh, Ash. Get another chance here on this attack. Ash kicking it deep. Yates sort of in the area. Not really able to get in front of that one, though. Here he comes up with that one. Trying for some really deep kicks. Here. Matthew's in the area, though. We've seen Matthew score from that spot. He's actually going to get a penalty here. Tomlinson taking the penalty. Uh, I guess that's okay. Let's see what Tomlinson can do here. Uh, nothing, apparently. He's sitting there holding his head, trying to get a, re you know, a rebound kick. Maybe we should have let uh, someone like uh, Matthews take that one since he did all the hard work for it. Got, he earned the penalty. We did win a corner. Yeah, that would have been, that was a shame that we missed that, cor that, that penalty shot there. Lloyd with the kick here. Gets it inside to Murphy's in the area. Oh, that's, that was the Plymouth guy. Um, actually, let's check something real quick. Tomlinson, what's his penalty taking? Penalty taking. Only an eight. Why was he taking that? I need to check my... Oh, you're only at eight as well. Never mind. Do we even have anybody that's good at penalties? You're a nine, which is not much better, to be fair. Okay, well, so we don't really have a great penalty takers. So, <laughs> there's that. More throwing in to Purrington. Up to Murphy. Up to Ferret Price, back to Wilkinson. Plymouth trying to figure out some sort of attack here. Uh, looks like uh, Halliday was able to get in front of that one. Gets it over to Randall on the right-hand side here. Randall gets it over to Tomlinson. Tomlinson up to Yates. Yates, what you going to do with the buddy? Up to Matthews. Matthews has a chance. A little bit wide, but, I mean, def definitely a decent chance there. 21 shots from us, 11 on target. Three goals still. We did lose. We're, we're currently tied on goal diff with uh, Rockdale because of that, uh, that goal that they got, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and do another swap here, I think. Uh, nobody's especially tired. Randall's playing really well, but I kind of want to give, I kind of want to keep giving Collins playtime when we can. So I'm going to go ahead and sub Collins in. Try to give him a little bit, uh, last time we subbed him in the 80th minute. Try to sub him in a little bit sooner this time. Try to just give him a little bit more playtime. I'm sure there's going to be some t games that he'll start. Holiday kicks it in. Lloyd in the area. I was going to say, he's going to get that follow through, isn't he? There he is. Lloyd picking up his first goal of the season with the follow through there. Getting us back up to a three goal diff on this game. That feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. All right, we're going to drop it down to balance. We're, we're very much in control of this game. It's not, let's, we don't have to go too crazy here. Slow it down a little bit. Collins coming back in the game. Fresh legs. Unfortunately, not able to do much there. Thompson, good stuff to Matthews. Over to Lloyd. Lloyd's going to try for again. Oh, that one should have been in. 
off the post. Good chance, Lloyd, or good try, Lloyd, I should say. These uh, Plymouth players just having an, an abysmal game right now. I've been there. I feel you, boy, boys. Although I haven't had that many te uh, games where my guys were in the red, to be fair. All right, last sub of the game. I mean, really, not really much of a... At this point, it's just subbing somebody for whatever reason. Let's go ahead and sub Kerr out. Get, uh, let's get Pond in here. Last few minutes here. Get a little bit of, a little bit of life on the defensive side. Man, Pond used to be one of our big-time starters. Now he's relegated to, to backup squad, backup status, which can still be important. I mean, you never know when you get an injury and somebody needs to come in and, you know, start for a couple weeks or something like that. So Pond's still very much important for our, our team, plus fatigue and stuff like that. He's going to get plenty of play time for sure. Got to throw in here from Plymouth here. Just a few seconds left in the game. Let's not give up a goal here at the end of the game, guys. Come on. Just come on. Get in front of these. No goals here at the end of the game. There's no point. There's no reason. Get in front of these guys. Get, clear this one out. Goodness. There we go. All right. That's it. Full time. Very much in control the whole game. So unfortunately, we gave up a goal, but you know what? I'll take it. That was excellent. Excellent. And here we are. End of the first two games. Sitting on top of the field, which we've been there before. So whether or not we can hold on to, you know, top seven we'll 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 see we'll kind of play through it a little bit more so the next game up for for us well the next game i play will be this home game against Tranmere, uh and also play this carabao carabao first cup first round cup game against crew um they're sitting what where are they at sky bet league two six. Oh yeah we play them way down here um so uh i think the next games you guys see will be this barnet and rockdale game uh, it's very likely rockdale is in the top you know three to five by the time we st we play them, it's probably still going to be high up there. So that should be a really good game. Barnet currently 11th, so there's a chance they can get up there in the top 10 as well by the time we play them. So I think both those games are actually going to be potentially very, very good games. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be a good uh, good next session. Uh, that'll give me a few games to play between now and then to really see how this season's going to shape up. By the time we get to this game, we'll really see how we're feeling uh, about the team overall. And uh, yeah, I do appreciate you watching. Apologies for the very kind of long first episode, but that's kind of given considering I was giving you a lot of background on what we did in the off season and stuff like that. But uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully if you like this, uh, you know, this format, please let me know. Or if you'd like me to go back to the show all home game format, you know, one per, per episode, let me know that as well in the comments. Uh, otherwise, you know, please give me a like the first episode of the, uh, the new pl uh, um, season. And uh, obviously if you haven't, please subscribe. I, I definitely uh, would like to show you guys more games like this. I'm excited about football manager 2020 coming out here in a couple months. Uh, hopefully I can show, continue. I, football Manager is just a fun game for me. I love these types of games, even though I'm not really a big football sucker type person. I've learned a lot about those, about that from these games. And so I really, really enjoy these games a lot. So I appreciate you watching and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.